Hey everyone, it's Tommy from TechNexus and thanks for joining me on uh, today's video. This is the third in the series for the week of going from Fusion to Plant 3D. Um, and there was a really great comment on LinkedIn today talking about the detail of this model and uh, I agreed with that user that it is probably more than enough for Plant 3D but you could ultimately stop here and then export it out to DWG or an STL uh, to bring into Plant, which we'll cover uh, later this week. Um, but if you wanted to throw in a little bit more detail, I guess this part uh, today will be optional for you. So what I want to do is just uh, switch the view around so you can see we've got that top view here, that blue kind of lines around there. And I want to switch to the front and I want to select the top view in the sketch or under the linked file here. I want to move it, so right click and go move, and then I want to go from point to point, and the origin is here, and the target is up here, and then I go OK, and now you can see it's moved the view to there, so now we can start uh, extruding these, uh, these bolts here. Now if I look at uh, let's go to this view here. So I've just attached the front view. So what that means is I can extrude this to a height already. Okay, so I can go extrude. So capture the position. So I want to extrude that um, body or that area. Okay, to a distance of that height. So you can pick one of the lines and it says it's automatically 21 mil. Okay, and I wanted to do it as a new body because what I want to do is array that. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. We've got 12 of them. So I want to select uh, that body and I want to look for, where is it? Pattern, so circular pattern. So the objects are selected. The axis is the shaft and we want to do 12 of them and you can see fusion draws all 12 and we're okay with that okay so what you can do also is do the same for the top view is switch to the right hand view so i see the front of it right click on it uh, move it so the origin is here and the target is here and go okay and we can do the same, oh, it's a little bit out. We can do the same for the bottom half. So I'm just going to move that again. So move. So the origin is here and the target is there. There we go. Looks a little bit better. So doing the same thing with the underside. So I can uh, maybe even extrude um, the bolt actually coming through, but for now, I'm just going to go extrude, so capture it, that shape at a distance, go to measure, and then pick the vertical line, and we want it to go one side, so the distance is going to be minus, and we're going to do new body, go OK, and again, do the same thing, so pick the body, go to create, pick the body, Create, Pattern, Circular, the axis is the shaft again, and we want 12 of them. And go OK. OK, so now there's that valve with the extra detail that might be required. So what you could do at this point is go through maybe do the, the holes on the flange, the subsequent holes on the other flange, uh, and again maybe come through and put... Uh, another extruded cylinder through here just to indicate the, um, the the threads on the bolt as well but for today I think that's all we're going to cover and what I'm going to do tomorrow is show you how to export this out to another file format which we're going to bring into Plant 3D, bring it into a catalogue uh, and then on Friday we're going to actually model with it and then you'll see what it looks like in a plant project. So thanks for watching, uh, thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't, please do subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get daily notifications of all of my videos uh, and I'll see you tomorrow for a little bit more fusion and we'll jump into Plant 3D Cats and Specs, so see you then.